Uh, Senator Hall, you're recognized for your questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thanks uh, for holding this hearing. Thanks for the witnesses for being here. You know, I have to say, I think one of the worst things that happened in the COVID era is that our own government deliberately withheld information from us, from the American people, tried to propagandize the American people, used the arms and agencies of government to actively censor Americans who dared to question the propaganda, and they're still lying to us. And I'll give you the proof of it. I wrote the bill that requires the administration to declassify the intelligence, intelligence assessments and reports related to the origins of COVID-19. Now listen, I just want to say, everybody sitting on this dais has read these. I've read them. I guarantee you my colleagues have read them. I know what the Energy Department concluded. I know what the FBI concluded. I knew what they concluded years ago because we could read them when people like Dr. Fauci were out there saying the lab leak hypothesis was totally discredited and nonsense. You could go read the intelligence and know our own government thought otherwise. And at this late hour, this government still refuses to release the intelligence. They are blatantly disregarding, blatantly disregarding the law that this body passed, the Senate passed, unanimously, unanimously. The propaganda involved in the origins of COVID-19 is astounding to me. It recalls the worst of the wartime propaganda in years past when the government would deliberately lie to people. And here that's what they have been doing with COVID-19 and are still doing it. You know, you had this whole cabal of, led by Dr. Fauci and others who as soon as the lab leak hypothesis that we now know is a lot more than a hypothesis. As soon as it's mentioned, what, what did Fauci do? We know because uh, this has all been litigated in the federal district court. In fact, in multiple federal courts, I've got the finding of fact from the court right here. They lay it all out. Fauci goes to the WHO, asks the WHO to intervene to discredit the lab leak. He then speaks against it multiple times from the podium at the White House. He then does countless media interviews. I mean, my gosh, what show has he not been on? He's still on TV, spewing this misinformation, as he would call it. But he did these multiple interviews where he says, no way, no how, lab leak, not possible at all. And then he coordinates, and the whole federal government coordinates with the biggest tech companies in the world to suppress, and media companies, to suppress any American who would ask questions about it. It's absolutely disgraceful. Dr. Gary, you were part of this propaganda effort. I mean, you were right at the center of it. It's astounding. You wrote this piece, this Nature Magazine piece or whatever it was that we've heard testimony here today, Nature Medicine, March 17, 2020. We've heard testimony here today from other scientists on the panel that it's basically an opinion piece. You said at the time, that definitively SARS-CoV-2 is not a laboratory construct, is not a laboratory construct. Of course, our own government key agencies have concluded otherwise. And on the basis of this, Dr. Fauci and others cited this, this piece and went out to use it to mobilize our own government to censor people who ask questions about it. People lost their jobs because of this. They lost their jobs, they lost their standing, they were kicked off Facebook, they were kicked off Twitter. Do you regret being part of this effort, this propaganda effort? Sir, I, I, was, I was simply just writing a paper about our scientific opinions about where this virus came from. Oh, no, from. you weren't. You said in an email <laughs> that we now have that you tried to withhold, but that we have February 2nd, 2020, you wrote, I really can't think of a plausible natural scenario where you can get from the bat virus or one very similar to it to this. I, I'm quoting you. I just can't figure out how this gets accomplished in nature. It's stunning. Of course, in the lab, it would be easy. Well, of course. And I actually figured it out. That's the whole point of it. You that. figured it out? You, you wrote this while you were writing your propaganda piece, I, while you were writing your paper. I wrote that paper. somewhere around February 2nd. We yeah, were Febu it was exactly the, February 2nd. Next, and you testified that you were writing your proximal origin paper in early February. So you're, you're saying that February what, what did it come to you overnight? There was new data that like, came Like uh, a revelation from God. No. It's Overnight you concluded, method. I got it. I got it. I figured it out. I figured it out. And now I can definitively rule out. It's amazing. Is that what happened? It's just the scientific method. Oh, it's just science. Oh, it's the scientific method that happened at lightning speed and then was used to propagandize and lie to and shut down. As a scientist who's supposedly su supposed to follow facts, do you regret the fact that your work 
was used to censor your fellow scientists. It was used to censor ordinary Americans who ask questions about the virus. Do you, do you regret you know, that? When, when you write a paper, I mean, you get it in the journal. I, we can't control what happens after. Oh, that. I see. So you're not yeah. responsible at all. This is, it's amazing. Nobody who is involved in any of this is responsible. Never. Yeah. They're not responsible. Yeah. But People have lost their jobs. Yeah. People have lost probably their health care associated with their jobs. People have been run out of public. They're not available in polite society. You can't show your face because, my gosh, you question. Yeah. But you, you don't have anything to do with it. Why have so many of your papers, your other papers, been retracted or subjected to formal expressions of concern? Yeah, well, Why is that? Th there's a long story behind that. Um, Four those, of them, those, right? Those, I mean, you've, you've had an, in July 26, 2021, Virology retracted a paper of yours. Also in 2021, the Journal of General Virology retracted another of your papers. In March of 2022, an expression of concern was added by an editor of yet another journal to another of your papers. In April 4th of 2024, a third scientific paper of yours was retracted from the Journal of Medical Virology. Yeah. Is this normal? Th th those papers didn't come from my lab, but, you know, I'm certainly helping. They're them. not yours? They're not mine, no. Oh, so, so your, I'm your on work the paper, is, but they did not come The work from my that, lab. that God gave you in a flash of inspiration remains absolutely un, unimpeachable, unimpeached. I, I, we stand by that. Do uh, you stand by your, your assertion uh, and your nature piece that uh, SARS-CoV-2 is not a laboratory construct? Could not be. Uh, we do, and that's exactly the same. Uh, Couldn't possibly be. Conclusion that the intelligence community came to. Oh, no, Sir, that is a lie. Let's stop right there. Well, it's that right I is right a lie. I okay. have read the, intelli the intelligence community did not come to that conclusion. Multiple intelligence community agents and components have concluded it was likely a lab leak. And they concluded that at the same time that you and your people were propagandizing the American public and using the channels and influence of the American government to censor ordinary Americans. Yeah. That is the truth. I'm not gonna sit here and allow you to lie any further. I'm, Dr. I'm not, Gary, I'm not you have through. disgracefully participated in shameful propaganda that has been one of the worst chapters in this country's history with the government propagandizing its own people. And you know what? You may be right about the, I'm not a scientist, I don't know, but what I do know is, what I do know is, it is wrong, it is wrong to censor and lie to the American public. It is wrong to withhold critical information from them. Yeah. And it is wrong to countenance that and to say, oh, I just had nothing to do with it. Gee, I wish we could have done better. You should have done better, sir. You should have done better. And because you didn't, people have suffered. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Could I, yeah, could I Dr. Gary, if you'd respond. like to respond, I think you can yeah, respond sure. to your question. Yeah. So, I, actually, Senator Hawley, I'm going to agree with you so, with, about something. I, I do think that, that we should learn more information from the intelligence community, what they found. Uh, I agree with you that they should be more open uh, and tell where those conclusions came from, you know, at the FBI and at the Energy Department, uh, all the agencies should come forth with, with more information. So there's, there's a point we can agree with. I mean, that was an interesting exchange, but you know, I, all we did was write a paper, <laughs> Nature Medicine, and 3,000 words. It's been one of the most uh, scrutinized papers in history. It's held up very well. It wasn't an attempt to, to uh, you know, distort things and to mislead the American public. It was just simply a paper. Uh, like the many other scientific papers that I've written in my, Very good. my career.